Peter Ratchman was a landlord in the Notting Hill area of London in the 1950s and early 1960s, who became notorious for his exploitation of his tenants. The word Ratchmanism entered the Oxford English Dictionary as a synonym for the exploitation and intimidation of tenants. Career, Early Life and World War II Ratchman was born Pierik Ratchman in Lvov, Poland, in 1919, the son of a Jewish dentist. After the German invasion of Poland in 1939, Rajman may have joined the Polish resistance. He was first interned by the Germans and, after escaping across the Soviet border, was reinterned in a Soviet labor camp in Siberia and cruelly treated. After the Germans declared war on the Soviet Union in 1941, Rajman and other Polish prisoners joined the Second Polish Corps and fought on behalf of the Allies in the Middle East and Italy. After the war he stayed with his unit, which remained as an occupying force in Italy until 1946 when they transferred to Britain. Rajman was eventually demobbed in 1948 and became a British resident. Business career, in Britain, Rajman built up a property empire in West London consisting of more than 100 mansion blocks and several nightclubs. His office was at 91 Euro 93 Westbourne Grove, in Bayswater and the first house he purchased and used for multi-occupation was nearby in now fashionable St. Stephen's Gardens, W2. In adjacent areas in Notting Hill, including Powys Square, Powys Gardens, Powys Terrace, Colville Road and Colville Terrace, he also subdivided large properties into flats and let rooms, initially often for prostitution. Much of this area, south of Westbourne Park Road, having become derelict, was compulsorily purchased by Westminster City Council in the late 1960s and was demolished in 1973 Euro 74 to make way for the Wessex Gardens estate. In order to maximize his rental income from the properties in Notting Hill, he is said to have driven out the Euro mostly witty Euro sitting tenants, who had statutory protection against high rent increases, and then filled the properties with recent immigrants from the West Indies. New tenants did not have the same protection under the law as had the previous ones, and so could be charged any amount Ratchman wished. Most of the new tenants were West Indian immigrants who had no choice but to accept the high rents, as it was difficult for them to obtain housing in London at the time. Indeed, Ratchman's initial reputation, which he even promoted in the media, was as someone who could help to find and provide accommodation for immigrants. According to his biographer, Shirley Green, parts of the traditional Rajman story, such as the use of violence to drive away the sitting tenants, may be mythical. More devious methods may have been used, such as moving the protected tenants in a smaller concentration of properties or buying them out, in order to minimize the number of tenancies with statutory rent controls. Houses were also subdivided into a number of flats in order to increase the number of tenancies without rent controls. By 1958 he had largely moved out of slum landlording into property development, but his former henchmen, including the equally notorious Michael de Freitas, who created a reputation as a black power leader, and Johnny Edgecombe, who became a promoter of jazz and blues, helped to keep him in the limelight. A special police unit was set up to investigate Rajman in 1959, and uncovered a network of 33 companies controlling his property empire. They also discovered Ratchman was involved in prostitution and he was prosecuted twice for brothel keeping. Ratchman did not achieve general notoriety until after his death, when the Profumo affair of 1963 hit the headlines and it emerged that both Christine Keeler and Mandy Rice Davis had been his mistresses, and that he had owned the Muse House in Marylebone where Rice Davis and Keeler had stayed. As full details of his activities were revealed. There was a call for new legislation to prevent such practices, led by Ben Park in Northern Mariana Islands for North Paddington, who coined the phrase Ratchmanism. The subsequent Rent Act 1965 gave security to tenants, but had the unintended consequence that private rented housing became scarce. Personal life, according to his biographer, Ratchman was an intelligent man with a genial personality. Though not blessed with conventional good looks, being short, Balding and dumpy, he had the power to charm women and mixed with all classes of society from prostitutes to the aristocracy. Rajman displayed his wealth flamboyantly, driving a Rolls Royce, 
chewing on a cigar and sporting dark sunglasses. Although generally a happy individual, he was torn between his Jewish and Polish heritage. This confusion of identity was made worse by the fact that his hometown of Lwo was transferred from Poland to the Soviet Union after World War II, and, being denied British citizenship, he was stateless. Lwo is now a major city in western Ukraine, and is known by its Ukrainian name Lviv. The Russian spelling Lvov is sometimes used in the West. Rajman married his long-standing girlfriend Audrey O'Donnell in 1960 but remained a compulsive womanizer, maintaining Mandy Rice Davis as his mistress at 1 Bryanston Muse West, W1, where he had previously briefly installed Christine Keeler. After suffering two heart attacks, Peter Rachman died in Edgware General Hospital on November 29, 1962, at the age of 43. He is buried in the Jewish cemetery at Bashe, Hertfordshire. In popular culture, in Michael Catton Jones's 1989 film about the Profumo affair, Scandal, Rajman is portrayed by Johnny Shannon. In the film In Education, Rajman has a minor role and is portrayed by Louis Soto. Linda Grant's The Clothes on Their Backs, Virago Press, features a main character modeled on Rachman. Harry Starks, the fictional protagonist of Jay Carnett's novel The Long Firm, begins his career working for Peter Rachman, who is described in the book as a Holocaust survivor, and is said to hoard bread crusts. Peter Flannery's singer was inspired, in part, by Rachman's life. Indie pop brand Carter USM's hit 1989 single Sheriff Fatman refers to the titular fictional slum landlord as a born again Rachman. Julian Temple's 1986 musical film Absolute Beginners, loosely based on Colin Mackin's 1959 novel of the same name, features a predatory Notting Hill slum landlord named Saltzman, who is clearly modeled on Rachman. In the film Saltzman evicts West Indian tenants from his properties to make way for a redevelopment and gentrification scheme. Perhaps not coincidentally, the actor who plays Saltzman in the film, Johnny Shannon, is the same actor who later played Rachman in Scandal. It is also likely not a coincidence that Rachman's one-time mistress, Mandy Rice Davis, appears in Temple's film as the teenage protagonist's promiscuous mother, who runs the boarding house where she resides and often cuckolds her husband with gigolo lodgers. In 1973 Euro 74, the British rock band The Kinks released a two-part rock opera, Preservation Act 1 and Preservation Act 2, which chronicles the rise and fall of a wicked property developer called Flasher Euro a character that is probably based, at least in part, on Ratchman. References Citations Bibliography, Green, Shirley Rajman. London, Michael Joseph. ISBN A0718117395A, Williams, John. Michael X, A Life in Black and White. London, Century. ISBN A1846050952A.